Um, right, Diggers918 asks, do you enjoy any sports? If so, who do you support? Uh, I've already said I, I quite like rugby, and since I don't really follow, you know, non-international stuff, I support England, I suppose. Um... Although I do like to see the Scottish do quite well sometimes in the rugby because they don't they don't t they don't tend to do very well very often. It's a bit of a shame, but anyway, um, as far as other sports go, um, not really a sports kind of a bloke. Although I do quite enjoy um, NFL. I do watch the NFL every now and again, and I do kind of sort of support the Packers, the uh, Green Bay Packers. Um, yeah. So, if you're a Vikings or a Bears fan, then I'm very sorry, but there it is. <laughs> uh, Duke asks, uh, what are your favourite fantasy books and or authors? Good question. Uh, I don't read a lot, in all honesty. I, read, I don't read as much as I should do, really. Um, and when I do read, most of the time I am, I'm actually just reading comics, to be honest. But I have read a few fantasy books in my time, and I would say probably... It's a toss-up between, um, mind you, I've, I started reading Game of Thrones recently, and uh, George R. R. Martin is actually pretty damn cool. I think he's all right, actually. I do like his books. Um, but in terms of all-time favorites, it really comes down to either J. R. R. Tolkien, because I absolutely freaking love Lord of the Rings, and especially The Hobbit. The Hobbit's probably my favorite book of all time. Um, and it comes down to either here, Tolkien, or, or Terry Pratchett. Because I freaking love Terry Pratchett and his books and everything. It's just so it's just so bloody awesome, honestly. Um, so I would have to say my favourite, you know, um, authors would be Terry Pratchett. And fantasy authors, anyway. Terry Pratchett and uh, Tolkien. As for books, I don't know, really, actually. There are too many good ones. The Hobbit, obviously, for Tolkien, but as far as Terry Pratchett goes, there are too many awesome ones um, to mention. Although, particular favourites of mine are probably um, The Colour of Magic, uh, The Fifth Elephant, and Thud. I did enjoy those ones quite a lot. I've read them all multiple times. So, yeah. Good question. Thanks for that. Uh, next on the list is... TB273, who asks, Have you thought of doing a Crusader Kings 2 LP? Um, I have thought about it, yeah, actually. Um, can we auto run now? Thank you. Um, I have thought about it, yes. And, uh, well, I just need to find someone to put this down for a second. Citizen. I have thought about doing a Crusader Kings 2 LP, indeed. I have Crusader Kings 2, and I think it's pretty cool. Salem of St. Lothus. Ooh, worth a look, I reckon. Um, any problem with Crusader Kings 2 is that while I think it's awesome, and while I do own a copy of it and all that kind of jazz, I also suck at it. Like, I really do. I'm really shit at Crusader Kings 2, and probably there are probably people laughing at me right now because it's supposedly the easiest of all the um, Paradox Grand Strategy titles, but honestly, yeah, I really suck at Crusader Kings 2. If I did a let's play of it, it would last for about 10 minutes, because that's literally how long I can go in that game sometimes before I get completely, like, before I get deposed and put in a position where I can, whereby I can't really win. Um, so yeah, I mean, if I was going to do a let's play of Crusader Kings 2, I would, you know, I would really prefer to you know, uh, just having have a bit more practice with it first, I guess. Um, what did those do? Resist normal weapons, Fort Vivex Fury, Fortify Attack. I see. I did this one as well. Oh, never mind. Um, so yeah, I suck at Crusader Kings too. That is the unfortunate. Bloodstone, huh? Ooh. Um, there's not much new cool stuff in this I want to explore, but I'm too busy doing this video. Oh dear. Um, so yeah, can't do Crusader Kings 2 for now, just because I'm crap at it. And while I know there's a certain amount of crapitude, that's the word now, by the way, um, in my videos, like I'm not perfect at any of the games I really play. Um, I'm not 
overly terrible either, I like to think. I don't think I'd be able to um, do a game that I was genuinely terrible at, really, in all honesty. I think it would just annoy you guys watching, really, if I was there, if I was that bad at it, so it's not really going to be something I do, I don't think. Um, okay, so next question, let me get the list here. Uh, Luke Stronach asks, did you go to the UEA? What do you think of Norwich? Uh, no, I'm not at the UEA, actually, actually I'm at the um, University College of the Arts, uh, NUCA. I'm not at the UEA, I'm afraid. What do you think of Norwich? I love it, actually. I think it's a really, really cool city. Um, I came from uh, a town in Northamptonshire, which was a bit of a scumpit, in all honesty, actually. It was very small and a bit backwards, really. And I've often, I've often thought of Northamptonshire, actually, as being, like, kind of... Um, some of the more, like, Britain's equivalent of some of the more backwards areas of uh, the United States. Um, don't, t don't anyone take offence at that, it's just, that's kind of what it's like in Northamptonshire, in all honesty. Um, and the here, compared to that, is just the, it's such a, such a nice place by comparison, I absolutely love it here, really. So yeah, that's what I like, that's what I think of Norwich. And, uh, Norfolk, by extension as well, is not too bad. Um... I went and visited the coast a little while back, actually, I think uh, last week or the week before. Um, wasn't too bad either. Okay, next question. Uh, this is another difficult one. Uh, Civ... Civ Edify, I think, maybe? Civ Edify. Anyway, that's what I'm going to call you. Uh, if you had to pick one nation in Kaiserreich that you would play over and over again, which one would it be? Um, good question. It's not necessarily my favourite. It's not necessarily asking which is my favourite um, country in Kaiserreich, but it is asking me what one would I play again and again and again. The answer to that is probably um, probably Russia, actually, just because Russia is one of the countries that you can do so many weird, crazy, different, mad things with, thanks to the like extensive event system they've built into uh, Kaiserreich. There are so many different directions you can take it, Russia in. And so many different things you could do with them. The you um, I'll read that in a second. That you can just constantly replay them and have a different experience every time, more so than some of the others. I mean, America in Kaiserreich has a similar thing going on, but um, with America, if you want to play as one of the other factions, you have to literally go out of the game and switch the faction you're playing as. So I think that doesn't kind of count, really. Um, you know. Uh, so yeah, it would definitely be Russia, I think. That I would play as over, over, over and over again because I already have played as them over and over again. You know. What's this say? Shrine of the First Citizens. In his God given wisdom, Saint Verloff ordered his followers to restore the ashes of all those who fell during the Exodus. He interred their remains on the sacred hill overlooking the easternmost seas, knowing that his people would continue to require counsel and guidance in their new homeland. Cool. Second, love it. Brilliant. I love the guys who made this mod, I mean, I keep saying it, but they really get what made Morrowind so special, and they've really brought it into this mod when they've been making all the new areas and stuff. Uh, it's so bloody brilliant. Love it. I'm going to get up on one of those towers now, but I don't think there's a way to do it. Um, anyway. So, um... Let's sell. Uh, that's a nice little view there the sun coming over the rock like that. Um, next question, let's have a look. Um, Skinner AD asks, what is your opinion on Margaret Thatcher? Um, my opinion on Margaret Thatcher is not positive. I will say that much and no more because I don't like talking about politics when it comes to the YouTube videos and stuff. Anyone who knows me outside of YouTube will know that I like to talk about politics and such, but um, I I would like I'd rather keep it out of my YouTube channel and stuff like that because politics is such a divisive subject and you know I don't really want to cause any problems if you like I think it would be really dumb if so you stopped watching someone's videos because you didn't agree with their political views and I know most of you are hopefully mature enough to not do that I know some people 
can't get over that kind of thing. So anyway, I will su suffice to say I do not like Margaret Thatcher, but I will not explain it any further than that. Um, uh, Icup418 asks, what was your first experience with the Elder Scrolls and who or what brought it to your attention? Well, uh, I had to think back a bit, but my first experience with the Elder Scrolls, I believe, was... Actually, it's quite funny, really. I mean, I, I think when I went down to Blockbuster, I think it was. It was just after Blockbuster had kind of opened really properly um, around where we lived. And um, we were getting some games. I was there with my stepbrother and uh, my mum. Or my stepmum. I think, yeah, my stepmum, my dad, and my stepbrother. And uh, we were at Blockbuster and we wanted to get some games, and there were a few on sale. And uh, funnily enough, uh, my brother was the one who bought Morrowind, and I was the one that bought Fable, actually. And it's kind of amusing, really, to me in hindsight, because, you know, uh, I've not bothered even picking up Fable for, you know, at least probably 10 years now. Um, or something like that. No, 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 that's not right at all. That's way too long. But anyway, I've not picked up Fable in a very, very, very long time, and yet, as you can see, I am still playing Morrowind right now. Um, so that was kind of my first experience with the Elder Scrolls. I'd played Fable for a bit, and then I came upstairs. Uh, my brother was on the computer, and he was playing this cool-looking game, and I was like, what's that? And he said, oh, it's Morrowind, I bought it the other day. And so I sat there and watched him play it, and eventually I got a go on it myself, and I was hooked ever since. So that's when I first started playing Elder Scrolls games. Um, while after that, obviously, Oblivion came out, I played that as well. And then I played Daggerfall, and then finally I played Arena as well, and now obviously Skyrim too. So, yeah, there we go. Is this new here, or did we already walk past this? No, we already walked past this, didn't we? Um, yeah, so, not a bad question that, actually. What else? Ah, Lugor. <laughs> Hello, by the way, Lugo. Um, he asks, cake or pie? And the answer is pie, because it's far more versatile. There's lots of things you can put in a pie, not so many things you can put in a cake. No, I'm not going to reference that stupid meme from Portal, uh, in case anyone was wondering. Um, so yeah, that's my final word, pie. Pie is uh, superior to cake, I'm afraid. Um, that's just the truth of it. Uh, Gal Drymer asks, will you LP more Paradox games other than Darkest Hour? I don't have any plans to, but I probably will at some point, I guess. Um, uh, let me think, what else could I do? I've got Europe Universalis 3 with all the like, add-ons and stuff, um, but I've never really kind of been majorly into that game, I suppose, really. Um, I played a lot of Victoria back in the day. I do have Victoria 2, but I've still not sat down and figured out how to play it yet. Um, you know, uh, yeah, probably I'll probably do some more Paradox stuff in the future. I don't really know when or exactly what I'd be playing, but I never rule anything out unless I've got a specifically good reason to. And that's really no exception, the Paradox stuff. So, yeah. I probably will do some Paradox stuff in the future. But Darkest Hour is the main one I play these days, so that's the main reason I do it, obviously. Um, what's next? Sly Dessert Fox asks, who is your favourite actor? Good question, and the answer is Patrick Stewart. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, I can't think of a single actor I like to watch on screen more than Patrick Stewart. No one, I have, no other actor I have more respect for than Patrick Stewart. I think the guy is phenomenal. Brilliant, you know, I love all those, I love actors that have like a kind of Shakespearean background like he does. Um... Yeah, anything, literally anything with Patrick Stewart in, I will watch. I love the fact that he's just done loads of really cool stuff, other than just, like, big films and things. Obviously, he was in Star Trek, you know, he was in a bunch of other films, too many to name, really. Uh, he's done lots of Shakespeare stuff. There's a brilliant uh, version of him, I think, in both Hamlet and Macbeth, actually, which everyone really should just watch. Um... You know, and he even he's done obviously he's done video game stuff as well. You know, he did, he was as everyone knows he was in Oblivion, uh, but he was also in a, a very old game called Lands of Law, um, which was just especially fantastic. And one thing that one of the things I really liked about it was being an old game from back then. It had kind of most of the voice actors in it were kind of pretty terrible, really, 
kind of slightly rubbish, but uh, you had Patrick Stewart, I think, playing the role of uh, this king, King Richard, in the game. And it was hilarious because everyone in the every, all the other voice actors in the game kind of were just a bit annoying or were not putting a lot of effort into it. But Patrick Stewart gave his fucking all. Like he played the role of that king, like his as if he was that king. You know, I honestly it was just so awesome. Like you should look it up on YouTube or something. Like let, type in Lands of Law Patrick Stewart something like that and see if you can find it because it's fantastic. Honestly. Um, I love that he treated that role, even if it was, it was just in a silly little computer game. I love that he treated that role seriously, never, 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 nevertheless, you know. I think that's like, that, that there is the mark of a good actor, in my opinion, anyway. So yeah, the answer is Patrick Stewart. Uh, Ian McKellen came as a close second, actually. Mainly because, well, not everyone knows that obviously he was Gandalf um, in Lord of the Rings. And Lord of the Rings... Uh, movies and books both hold us very special plays in my heart, but um, and he but he was also in a really really good ad adaptation of Richard the um, Third, which you can I think find on YouTube. Um, some, I think maybe I'm not sure, but anyway that was really good as well. But yeah, no, um, Patrick Stewart still beats him in my opinion. But anyway, yeah, that was a that was a good question. Thanks for asking that. Um, and last but not not least. Fish Kittles, aka someone else I know from outside YouTube, um, asks, will you be doing more LPs or will you be focusing on Oblivion right now? And I've kind of already answered this at the beginning, towards the beginning of the video. Um, yes, I will be doing other LPs. I'm, in fact, I'm in the process of kind of just setting up recording one, a new one, right now. I'm not going to tell any of you what it is. I would like to keep it a surprise. Um... For now, I think, well, one or two of you watching it will already know what it is. But other than that, I'm keeping it as a surprise. Um, and hopefully you will all enjoy it. And yeah, I have kind of all, I'm in the process of recording the beginning of it at the minute. And uh, yeah, that will be coming to a screen near you soon or whatever. Um, so yeah, the answer is yes, I will be doing other LPs. In fact, the focus has kind of come off Oblivion a little bit recently just because of these like little hardware problems I've come across with the old internet connection and such like you know so yeah there it is I guess but that is all of the questions I, that I have written down here at least if I've missed you off um, and you asked a question I apologize because either it's my fault or it's um, YouTube's fault for not displaying your comment properly because YouTube has been exceptionally derpy of late exceptionally stupid in fact um, like, you guys probably, those of you who aren't, like, guys who produce content for YouTube yourselves will probably not realise, but anyone who is watching this and who does make videos of their own will appreciate just how ridiculous YouTube is uh, being in, in, the, in the last, like, year or so. But anyway, yeah, that's all of them. And um, I need to go now, really. So, thanks for watching everything, all my videos, everyone. Thanks for sticking around, even though um, we were having a bit of a break in the minute, but just because I've not been able to actually physically sit at the computer long enough to record anything. Um, I do appreciate the fact that you've not all buggered off and unsubscribed, um, because sometimes that can happen. Um, and thanks for just being awesome, I guess. You know. So anyway, here's to 1,500 or so subscribers and... I'll be back again, I imagine, once we get 2,000 or so. Although I'll probably have something a bit more special planned for that, hopefully. Um, there was something else I wanted to do for 1,500. Uh, but I didn't get the chance to do it because I didn't have enough time. But um, again, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'll keep it a surprise. So anyway, that's it, basically. Ciao for now, everyone. We'll see you again pretty soon, I imagine. <laughs>